So on my journey to assemble a vintage lens kit, I knew I would need to get a wide angle at some point. And for the longest time, I thought the widest I could be able to go would be about 24 millimeters. But then I discovered the Vivitar 19 millimeter f 3.8 and I figured, hey, might as well give it a shot. And after using it for a while, it has become one of my favorite lenses. And I'll tell you why, coming up. The Vivitar 19mm is an M42 mount lens I got off of eBay for about $100 a while back. Although there are other mounts available for this lens, it's just a matter of the price is definitely going to vary quite a bit. It's got a 62mm front fret, and fortunately the front element doesn't turn when adjusting focus, so you'll be able to use polarizers on it. This is one of the lenses I mostly used on my short film, The Robotic Course Man. I gotta say, I found the lens to be pretty sharp. Not as sharp as a modern prime, mind you, but still very serviceable. And I gotta mention, there are a few quirks, not necessarily bad things, but I feel as though I should at least point them out. This lens flares very well, to a point where it almost became a problem when I was shooting my short film, but depending on the situation, it can give much of a desired look. The lens also does breathe when you're adjusting focus on it. I don't consider that to be a bad thing depending on context. It could be a pretty cool effect. The best example I could think of is from this film called Dracula Untold, where combined with the sound design and the lens breathing, it made this amazing effect. And I don't know one that actually likes that movie. I feel like I'm the only one that liked that movie. Only complaint I do have about it is that it does have an f-stop of 3.8, which is slightly higher than my kit lens. But that's the only problem I've got with this lens. I honestly would recommend men picking this up if you can get it for like around $100 or so. Any more than that, then I kind of feel like it would probably be worth it if you were to do something like get a speed booster to put on this and put it on a Micro Four Thirds camera like Blackmagic Pocket or one of Panasonic's cameras. But either way, if you're interested in picking up this lens for yourself, I am going to have a link in the, des the description. And it is going to be an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase something, I'll give a small kickback at no additional cost to you. And also be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out. Now, if you excuse me, <laughs> I've got a wedding to prepare for, so I'm out. Peace.